Big Apple, 3AM. Crackdown 3 is an action-adventure game developed by Sumo Digital and published by Xbox Game Studios which released February 15, 2019 for the Xbox One and PC. Crackdown 3 takes place 10 years after the events of the second Crackdown game in the city of New Providence. A corporate terrorist organization named Terra Nova emits powerful electromagnetic pulses that destroy the power grids around the globe, sending cities into complete darkness. The agency and their super soldiers have been tasked with confronting Terra Nova and ending this global threat once and for all. The campaign mode in Crackdown 3 can be mindless fun and mayhem at times, but the rinse and repeat checklist structure can often hamper the overall experience with its monotonous and repetitive nature. The gameplay loop consists mostly of searching for agility orbs, freeing captured civilians, reclaiming train stations, ending strongholds, and tackling bosses. You pick one of six agents to start the game, including Terry Crews as Commander Isaiah Jackson, each with their own attributes and perks that will increase certain skills faster. The skills for kills system that the franchise is known for returns, and agents can level up five core skills, driving, strength, firearms, explosives, and agility, to aid them with taking down the many infrastructures of the enemy factions. Driving like a madman, participating in road races, and doing stunts will level up your driving skills and allow your vehicle to transform and even scale vertical walls. Handing out all-you-can-eat knuckle sandwiches will level up your strength skills, giving your agents special melee attacks and super strength abilities to pick up just about anything in the sandbox to throw at your enemies. Pumping your enemies full of hot slugs will level up your firearm skills, then you carry more ammunition and deal more damage. Collecting the agility orbs that are scattered all throughout the map will level up your agility skills, which grant your agent extra maneuverability and traversal options. Hunting down the orbs was honestly one of my favorite elements of Crackdown 3, and it kept me coming back for more exploring every nook and cranny of New Providence. Being that Crackdown 3 is a lock-on third-person shooter, once your agent has leveled up a bit, they become a wrecking ball, and the game becomes way too easy. I was able to take down bosses in seconds, making the minutia of the mission task almost unbearable, because it isn't challenging in the slightest whatsoever. To make matters worse, the city of New Providence can often feel bland, lifeless, and uninspired. The campaign will take about 8 to 10 hours to complete, and you can also play co-op with a friend for an added bonus. Wrecking Zone, Crackdown 3's multiplayer, features the highly touted Azure Cloud-powered physics-based environmental destruction. The destructibility can look pretty cool at times, but it really doesn't add any strategy or any significant value to the gameplay, which is underwhelming for the power of 12 Xbox Ones. At the time of this review, Agent Hunter and Territories were the only available modes for Wrecking Zone. Agent Hunter is a 5v5 kill confirmed team deathmatch mode, where each team collects badges dropped after every kill. The team that collects the most badges wins the game. Territories is a 5v5 conquest mode, where the teams have to capture and hold an objective area to score points. With only three maps, no global leaderboard, no ranked multiplayer, no progress, no unlockables, and no partying up, it is absolutely unacceptable for a big title with so many delays to release in this state in 2019. The visuals in Crackdown 3 aren't bad by any stretch, but even in 4K on the Xbox One X, 
it isn't necessarily that impressive either. The character models have a cell shaded comic book feel that looks decent, but they certainly do seem a bit dated. Crackdown 3 makes great use of HDR, resulting in some truly beautiful environments with vibrant and vivid neon colors, especially at night. Terry Crews and director Goodwin gave some excellent performances, although I do wish Terry Crews would have had even more lines of dialogue. Come tomorrow, we're all gonna be walking around wearing shiny snake skin boots! Crackdown 3 is not the grand slam that Microsoft so desperately needed. It doesn't raise the bar or change the landscape of gaming in any meaningful way. If you can temper your expectations and look past some of the game's glaring flaws, there is definitely some fun to be had here. But with the lack of any real progression system, once the honeymoon period is over, it's really difficult to justify a $60 purchase. Open world games have come such a long way since the last Crackdown installment nearly a decade ago. Crackdown 3 isn't a terrible game, it just simply isn't a great one. If you're a longtime fan of the Crackdown series, this might be worth picking up. Otherwise, at the very least, it's certainly worth a download on Xbox Live's Game Pass service. I give Crackdown 3 a C. From all of us here at Rotten Apple Gaming, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to stay updated on our following videos.